What do you want, Dimitri? I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with bright stockings and burning crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. Oh. You shouldn't have hit me with my ear with your car and ruined my phone call with my arch enemy, idiot. Uh, anyway, hello, welcome back to GTA 4. I'm your host, Tim Mantha. Um, and this is my second attempt at recording the audio for this. My first attempt got about 30 seconds in. I didn't even actually start, like, the thing in Premiere to start commentating over it uh, before my computer crapped out and it did something that uh, has been happening. It doesn't happen all that frequently, but I guess it has happened like more than five times in as many months, so I guess that's kind of frequent, but not on a regular basis at all, and I don't know what's causing it because there doesn't seem to be like one common thing. It's usually when I have something in full screen, it happened a lot. Like, out of those five times, I think three of them have been specifically when I was watching something in full screen on the Criterion channel on my browser. The other, I was watching something in full screen on VLC Media Player. It's never happened during a game, so I don't think it's like a graphics card issue because whenever I'm doing something graphics intensive, I never have that problem. Um... And everything in my computer is new, so I don't know what the issue could be. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I've looked into it before, and most people who have the problem, it usually goes green for a second. Like, not the green screen of death that Windows 10 has that has, like, text on it. It's just a blank green screen, and then it usually disconnects and the computer is still on like the light on the power button is still on and my monitor is still on but it usually will say hdmi no signal and a lot of people on like forums and stuff have said that it's a monitor issue but none of them have my monitor so maybe it's a common one or like it's a problem with the hdmi cord but when it happened just now just to see what happened i unplugged the hdmi cord from the monitor and plugged it back in and like turn the monitor on and off and i took the power out of the monitor and then put it back in and uh nothing happened i still had to just force turn off my computer like usual and then turn it back on and when it comes back on it usually it's completely fine but i don't want to have to keep doing that because i know it's not great for the computer to force it to shut off that way um so I didn't mean to talk over this entire cutscene, but I do want advice on that, and I wanted to say it at the beginning of the video before I forget, and I don't know if I've talked about this before, because I know that I've complained about other computer things, but yeah, this is- otherwise my computer is fine, like I have no problems with anything else except this random thing that happens just- like, like I said, sometimes I do all of these things and nothing happens and it's fine. Uh, and I do things that are far more taxing and that you would kind of expect would make my computer do that. And even in instances where I, you know, my computer is kind of like, for, you know, for whatever reason is acting up in whatever way, it never does that in those instances. It's just completely random. So, uh, if anyone is a computer wizard and could shine some light on what might be going on there, I really would not like to have to buy another computer part right now. Not exactly flush with cash, and this is probably a time where I should be saving. Also, there are just other expensive things that I've already been planning on have on getting soon that I would like to use that money for, but, uh, whatever. So, uh, what are we doing? Oh yeah, this is the last Ray Tortellini mission, and, uh, I don't know if I said that one already, I think I did. Uh, what's another funny one? Uh, Ray... Uh... Giacchino. That's not that funny. Michael Giacchino is a good guy. Anyway, it's his- it's the last of his missions, and, uh... It is kind of hard. Um, or at least, 
I, I didn't have too much trouble with it this time. It was certainly one of the harder shooty bits, and I was kind of being cavalier about it. But, uh, uh, excuse me. But as with a lot of these shooty bits in this game, I found it much harder on console because of the, uh, having to use the controller. So, yeah, mouse and keyboard really is a godsend in this game. It would have been cool if the original console version of the game could have just, like, come with a keyboard and a mouse that you could plug into your Xbox and you could play all the shooty parts the correct way. But, alas. Once again, another another point to the PC Master Race. This area is off limits, buddy. We got a problem here. I was hoping to just get them all in one little swipe with the headshots, but not quite. But still pretty good. Definitely handling this better than I did before. I remember that beginning part in particular being like really hard, and then I just kind of slapped through it. It's uh, wondrous things you can do when you can actually aim at the people you want to aim at freely, rather than having to lock on to them uh, you know, by default, and then tilt the controller up weirdly up to their head to kill them. Because, I mean, that's pretty much what you gotta do. If you don't want to waste, like, 98,000 bullets on people, which I still do, uh, you wanna get the head. Just, uh, chalk that sentence up in the, uh, collection of uh, audio clips of things I say in LPs that would sound horrific outside of the context of that I'm playing a video game. And I feel like I have to sneeze. I don't know if I'm going to, though. <laughs> I did. Maybe I'll edit that out. Who knows? Maybe I'll... I don't think I... I don't know if I've sneezed in a recording, so this maybe this will be a first. You get to know what I sneeze like. You're getting inside my life. That guy didn't even get to fucking talk. And I'm gonna spare the lady. I'm not that mean. Fuck these doors. Uh, Alright. There's more pals up here, though. Speaking of PC Master Race, I know that was like five minutes ago, but, um... Today, not the day that this video is going up, but the day that I'm recording it, uh, is, um, was the day of the PlayStation 5 reveal thing, which I caught the last, like, 20 minutes of. So, I, I didn't actually, I wasn't watching when they revealed the actual console, which I'm, I'm supposing was at the end, or at the beginning, because I missed both of those things. Um, like, the very end. Um... But I saw the console, I was in the car shortly after that, shortly after it ended, like 15 minutes after. And I saw it on Twitter, and of course it had already been like memed to shit within two seconds, because it does look a little strange. I can't, I'm not going to try to think of my own, uh, like, clever comparison, like, thing to compare the PS5 design to, because there's, all of them have already been made. But uh, if you've seen it, you know what I mean. It looks silly. And I feel like there should be something in that door. Not that there's any point. I mean, you really do just need to get out of here. And I was I had my gun pointed the entire time because I didn't know if the police can even come up here. I don't know if they can. Because I don't know if they know how to make cutscenes happen in the elevator, you know? This is a cool camera angle. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I, you know, it was basically just a bunch of trailers of games when I was watching it, and, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get any of them. I'm probably not gonna get a PS5. I don't think they've said an official price, um, but I've heard a lot of rumors, uh, but, and they sound pretty ridiculous, but I don't, and I mean, don't get me wrong, it's probably going to be expensive as fuck. I'm putting my money on $500. Uh, 
I don't think that's any higher than a lot of other time. Like, I think the PS3 was 500 when it came out, right? I don't remember. Um, I remember it being prohibitively expensive for me at the time. Um, but I don't know. He, uh, he, who, <laughs> what am I talking about? He, that's, that's the PS5. Um, I don't think they've said an official price, but I've heard a lot of rumors ranging from like 400 to $800, which $800, if that's what the price ends up being, then that's just fucking ridiculous. You might as well just get a fucking PC at that point. And that's not even me being, uh, Mr. Ironic hashtag PC Master Race. Uh, it, it like, just f fucking bang for buck. <laughs> like, you know, you could probably build a, you know, computer that could run PS5 level games and other things that computers can do um, for that same amount of money or less um, than getting a PS5 at launch. But whatever. Um, I don't think I have ever bought a console when it came out. I just don't, I don't have that hookup like that. Um, uh, I, I mean, I'm still waiting on them to make the fucking Switch cheaper, but they're apparently just never gonna do that, because people keep fucking buying them. Um, so, I, I'll just have to bite the bullet eventually, whenever I can. Uh, I talked over it, but that conversation with Dwayne, it wasn't a conversation, but he just, like, accidentally called me, I guess. I don't know what that is, and I don't think I've ever seen it, but it's very strange um, that he's just like, hey, did you call me? And you're like, no, you called me. And then you're like, ah, sorry. And, like, I don't know. It's The last few phone calls I've gotten from him have been, like, him asking to hang out, and I'm like, no, I'm doing other shit. So I don't know if that was, like, a passive-aggressive thing or what. Like, I like I said, I've never encountered that. I don't know how to take it. Anyway, I wanted to go do Bernie's next mission, but, like the thing said, he's only there at 6 a.m. I kind of wish there was some way to know that before you got there, but I guess that's unreasonable. And I didn't want to do anything in between because, like, my plan was to do Bernie's mission next so that the video could be the length that I want it to be. So I just went into the pan spray a couple times, and then I waited. And I think it's really funny that just the second that it becomes that time, the mission loads. Anyway, more Bernie time. Bernie, what's wrong? Nothing, sweetie. Oh my God, you're the lucky one. What? You could slice cheese on those puppies. I must be the only slob without cheekbones. Been thinking of getting implants. But you sounded hysterical! Oh, sometimes I can't bear to be alone. I'm so glad you've come back into my life, even if you did try to kill me. I'm so excited! What are we doing here? We're going to have fun! Fun? Yes! It's a four-letter word, I know, but we can still try. Look, more people want me dead than alive. I'm working for the Mafia. The police and the government agency are both on my case. I kill and steal to scrape together a living so that my cousin can fritter it away online and pay off debts. And all the while, people are trying to kill us. What is fun? Honey, you are stressed. <sighs> Goodbye, Florian. No, 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 you don't, Nico. I need you. I need you to come on this boat trip with me. I need to talk to someone who truly knows me. When I knew you, you were training to be a shepherd. And you wanted to be a professional wrestler. <laughs> Actually, maybe it does all make sense. You understand me. Both of me. Come on, Bryce accidentally left the keys on purpose somewhere I could steal them. You drive, I'll work on my tan. My midriff is really pale. All right, let's have fun. Ah! Ah! 
Nico does not know how to have fun because he's too busy doing crimes. That's the sad thing about Nico, is that he does crimes and it's not even for the love of the game. He doesn't even like doing it. You know? If you're, if you're gonna resign yourself to a life of crime, you might as well love the hustle, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, but thinking about the... or watching the PlayStation thing, even though most of them were games that I either... I mean, some of them are just completely out of nowhere, and it's the first time they're really being shown off, and so I don't know if a lot of people know what they are. But, um... A lot of ones that I mostly didn't care about. There were some that were cool. Uh, like I said, I didn't catch all of it. Um, but it reminded me, it was a nice little thing to decide to watch on a whim. Because it reminded me of E3. And especially E3 in like the late 2000s, early 2010s. I would get really excited, even about the conferences for consoles that I didn't own. And even for the trailers of games that I did not even plan to get. Um, it was just fun to, you know, for one thing, there were games that I did want to get, and so most of them just were things I added to my list of, uh, games and other media and things that I want that I, you know, make a list of to buy at this, uh, abstract point in the future that I imagine where I have... Uh, money and I live comfortably and I can buy those things <laughs> which is very stupid but yeah I, like on a different note than just that it it is it was fun to like get hype about stuff that was coming out and it just reminds me of simpler times which uh, as most of you know is uh, just about everything that uh, any of us have at this point, um, which is the point of a lot of the shit I do on this channel and just in general. So, as boat chase, I feel like we've had a few boat chases lately. Um, they're not bad. You know, I like boats. They're fine. I haven't been on all that many boats. I've been on a ferry, and... I don't know, maybe like two or three other boats in my life. I don't know. I don't know how many boats I've been in. I don't know if these people... Uh, I think this is just a scripted chase and none of these shots are do any, doing anything, so I probably just wasted all of this ammo for nothing. But, whatever. Because, yeah, they're going to have this little interaction with the police, which I thought was my fault for shooting at him too much. And, yeah, here's where I almost fucked myself, because turning boats in this game sucks. The easiest way to turn sharply is to uh, hold the right button above the trigger, on my controller at least, uh, while you're turning. But that, for some fucking reason, and I don't remember this happening, it turns the camera with you, so it becomes impossible to steer, sh like, correctly. Um, and so, yeah, I was just trying to do it just by turning regularly, and it works, but it's very slow, very wide turns, and when you're underneath a harbor with those pillars... It can be a little bit shitty. But with this, where you have the space to do a wide turn and go a little slower, it's not that bad. So yeah, this is a completely scripted chase. You don't get to shoot at them until they reach the land, so... I'm a big dumbo. What else is new? I was hoping that I could steer the boat into them and kill them, but they were already pretty far up, so didn't get to do that. Hero returns from battle. They're not a problem anymore. 
Miko, you are my knight in shining armor. Thank you. I'm sorry our fun day wasn't so very much fun. See you soon. See you. Heartwarming. So that was also the last Bernie mission. Last Ray mission, last Bernie mission. This is the the segment of uh, ending friendships. I mean, not entirely, though. We're, we're going to see a little bit more of Ray, and we will hear from Bernie. I don't know if we'll be seeing him much. Um, so uh, the rest of the video, unless I forget, is just uh, heading on back to the old... Th oh, yeah, I am forgetting. We're going to go see about that ransom thing we're doing. Yeah, the Ancelotti girl. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the Manicotti girl, whatever thing I thought of earlier to call her as a joke, but then I immediately forgot, apparently. Anyway, yeah, apparently they don't believe that we have her, so we're taking a picture of her to, uh, make them know that. been missing me? Look up here. Where you been? I've been jonesing for some fries for about five hours. My water bottle is leaking like a motherfucker. This sucks. Not even leaking, just accumulating a shitload of water at the bottom, and it's making my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, I, yeah, look at what he's watching on the fucking TV. Dude's rock. Anyway. Uh, it's making my coaster um stick to the bottom of my water bottle when i pick it up to drink and it sucks uh man oh man also this is completely random but i just uh, thought of it um because i was looking at one earlier today but i've been getting on both of my channels recently these random accounts and it's usually the same three or four accounts that post stuff about like wannabe friends or like and they're all named, like, 1,000 subs and, uh, like, I'll be your friend or whatever. I don't, I don't know what the fuck they're they're meant to be. Like, I, if, if they're, like, subscriber farms or... I, I don't even fucking know. I don't know what the point of these obvious bot accounts are. Um, I don't know if anyone would be able to shed light on that, but I, I don't even get the point. Like, what... Like... If you're gonna do a scam, like, there should at least be, like, a clear, like, who is benefiting and how should be, like, knowable or, like, understandable. I don't even know what the fuck the point of it is. I guess that just goes to show how little I know about the bot account scene. Um... So yeah, I decided that I wanted to have a sick car uh, to save outside of this new safe house that I wanted to show off that the Mafia gave me, because I'm super cool. But this guy decided to be a huge asshole and not stop. I actually originally wanted the Black Patriot, but this guy pissed me off, so now I have his car. And now it's just a matter of getting him to leave me alone. Not very hard, just climb over this car real quick. That guy has given up on his Patriot, the cops do not mind, and I am parking in front of my Mafia-owned apartment. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Also, Bernie gave me like $6,500 for that, and it was literally just like for hanging out with him and then shooting two guys. And that is more than uh, Frankie had, like, paid me for, like, infiltrating a legal office and killing a prominent lawyer. Yeah. True friend. Anyway, after we take a little nappy next time, we're gonna do some more things. See you then.